Hey folks, it's another crew review. We're going to talk about the uh, Dream Up from Escaso today. Hi, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and you may have noticed that we're trying to, you know, just show you more about the Escaso products. Why is that? Because they have, over the last year or so, made some really great improvements, and we now are back in love with them again. Uh, they had issues before that. You know, they were good, but they weren't great. Now they're great. It's just a different kind of machine. I'm going to start on the inside and show you what makes it a little bit different. Before, there used to be a brass boiler here that had a coil on the outside, which was your heating element. And that would fail, you know, kind of on a regular basis. This is a thermal block. This is a lot more secure as far as uh, its reliability and uh, longevity, let's say. It is an aluminum with a stainless steel lining where the water goes around inside there. So thermoblock, the water heats on the fly. Also, they put in a valve back here, which is, uh, simula simulates a three-way solenoid valve. Only the difference in this one is it relieves the pressure of the fresh water and sends it back down into the water tank. So it's not dirty water getting released from up here. It's fresh water getting released from back in here. They also improved the steam assembly up in here. This is far better than the old ones that used to fail on a regular basis as well. Got your pump right here, all your controls, steam on off, and your brew. So that's what they've changed on the inside. These are huge improvements as far as we're concerned. So we're all about showing you what it's all about. Do a little crew review here and talk about the rest of it. Nothing on the outside has really changed. It still has uh, that really good looks that people love. Water tank right over here, 48 ounces, easily accessible with a tube going down in it. Uh, whoop, don't try to move the machine with the lid off, Gail. That's not gonna work. Steam arm right here. This steam arm goes back and forth like this. This is a burn steam arm, hence you've got this little finger guard on here. It also, and I'll show you in the accessory box, this is the Panarello assembly that's on it that comes off for easy cleaning. And it also comes with another attachment that goes right on here that makes it a traditional steam arm. So you have your choice. Panarello injects the air for you or the traditional steam arm, which you're going to do more of the work yourself. It has a 57 millimeter uh, chrome-plated brass portafilter. And it also comes with different kinds of baskets. Let me show you those since we're here. This is the non-pressurized double. It comes with a pressurized double, non-pressurized single, or pressurized single, same configuration, non-pressurized non double here, non-pressurized single here. See the difference in these? That's how you tell. And it says on the side, Ascaso has really made it easy because it tells you what they are right here. And this one, this last but not least, is for pods. And it says right on the side, pods. So, pretty easy. And here's that other steam tip that I was talking about. Comes in the box. You take this off, unscrew this, screw this back on, and you've got a traditional steam arm. Kind of nice. It also comes with a double-ended tamper. This is 57 millimeter, which matches the portafilter, and look how nice, tight fit. And Ascaso makes um, parts and stuff for other companies, so I'm kind of, kind of, you know, I haven't measured this, but I'm going to say that's a 53. They make parts for other manufacturers, so double-ended, double duty, and a scoop. So that's what comes in the box. Drip tray right down here. Comes out easily for cleaning. Um, I, I would say a con is that this doesn't have a, a spot where you can stick your finger in it like that. It would be kind of nice. So you have to use your fingernail or something like that to grab it. This is a polished aluminum casing. Now we're going to offer these and uh, these come from Spain. We're getting those right from Spain and we're featuring uh, three different colors. A gray, polished aluminum and anthracite, which is a dark gray with a little bit of a pebbly finish to it. That's one of my favorites. I really like the anthracite a lot. So check those out on our webpage. And now I say, let's make a drink. So we want, this is a single 
acts like a single boiler. So you're either going to brew or you're going to steam. And this happens to be a thermal block. So I'm going to just wait for it to get up to temperature. Almost lost the coffee off of there, the intelligentsia. All right. And that's what we're brewing up today is the intelligentsia black cat. Yummy stuff. We're just getting the steam up to, you know, it has to go from brew temperature up to steam temperature. So we're just trying to, well, I'm getting the coffee ready, get it up to temperature. Bear in mind, no brewing and steaming at the same time with a machine that's a single boiler or a thermal block like this. So I'm not gonna put that in because the brew head would be hot and it actually would not be good for the coffee. Okay, we didn't have that open quite all the way. All right, little hole right there, so we don't want to bury that if we want foam. Uh-oh, won't get buried fast. I'm just going for warming now. Got enough foam. We'll have to try the other traditional steam arm, but that's another video. All right, woohoo. Hot, hot, hot. Let's wipe this off. Give a squirt. Also, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pump water from the water tank through that thermal coil into this cup. It's gonna clean out the tip of the milk from the milk on the tip of the steam arm. And it's also gonna prematurely cool down that boiler for you so that you can get back to brewing temperature. And meanwhile, keep your milk incorporated. Important stuff. get that clean. There we go. That means the boiler's heating up. I'm just going to wait a second for that to turn back off. It's ready to go now. See the lights? All right. I don't know about latte art. I think I'd use the other team tip for that myself. But hey. Yep. 
Let's see what the temperature is like in the flavor. Mmm. Hot, 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 hot. Of course, I made the milk fairly hot. Mmm. That's quite delightful. Mmm. That black cat is good stuff. Black cat. So, that's the Escaso Dream Up. What do you think? Let me know. Comments down below. Always love to hear your feedback. Form and function now. This thing has got it all. It's not only a good machine on the inside, it's actually a really pretty machine on your countertop. And that's always been something that Sascasso has been known for is they're really nice looking machines. So check it out on our webpage, three different colors. Let us know what you think, comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you.